iOS 18 Beta 5 introduces a previously unannounced feature for Safari called Distraction Control, alongside some changes that might make people happy depending on your thoughts about the new Photos app redesign. But first, let's talk about that new Safari feature, and as the name suggests, Distraction Control is designed to cut down on distracting elements from articles and web pages such as sign-in windows, cookie preference pop-ups, newsletter sign-up banners, autoplay videos, and more. Distraction control can be used to hide static content on a page, but it is not an ad blocker and cannot be used to permanently hide ads. An ad can be temporarily hidden, but the feature was not designed for ads and an ad will reappear when it refreshes. Your distraction control settings are on device and will not sync from device to device, so you will need to hide website elements on each one of your devices. You can use the show hidden items option by going into Safari search field to instantly see all hidden elements on a web page. Now this new feature can be found across iPadOS and macOS Sequoia developer betas and will soon be introduced to the public beta testers as well. As for the Photos app redesign, Apple made some pretty significant changes, but it appears some of those will now be removed due to the feedback received during the beta process. So to make for a simplified viewing experience, Apple removed the carousel. In earlier betas, there was an option to swipe left or right from the photos view to see the collections, such as featured images, videos, favorites, and more. But these collection elements are also available by just scrolling down. So the carousel was a bit repetitive and could be confusing if you accidentally swiped and you weren't sure how to get back to your main library view. All Photos has been revamped and it now displays more of the Photos grid and users who have multiple albums will see their albums higher up in the Photos app, eliminating the need to scroll almost all the way to the bottom of the interface to get to the albums option. And also, recently saved content was tucked away in the Utilities album and now it is integrated into the Recent Days collection. But of course, I'd love to hear from you in the comments down below. What do you think about the new changes to the Photos app? Did you like the way Apple redesigned it originally, or do you like the new changes that were made in this recent beta? And of course, would love to hear from you about distraction control, the new Safari feature, down in those comments. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you all around in the next video.